Hey everybody, it's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I hope you've had a great week. If you're watching in the replay, today is Friday, January 15th, 2021, I think. <laughs> the days all run together, right? They really do. All right, so let's see. We're gonna let everybody jump on. Make sure my I can see your comments. Hello, good, I see you guys jumping on. I am going to, I always have trouble sharing this while I'm trying to talk. I can't do two things at once, <laughs> for sure. Okay, I think I've got it. Da, 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 da. Yes, okay, okay, done. Hi, hi Sandy. Hi Deborah. it's good to see you guys. All right, so today is Berry Blessings. That's what we're going to do. Berry Blessings, I've got it over here, is a bundle in the Celebration Catalog. If you guys looked at the Celebration Catalog, it's awesome. Rem remember, Celebration this year is only January and February. It does not go into March. Some of us are going to be caught off guard by that. It ends February 28th, okay? I'm gonna remind you every week because I'm so afraid some of you are not gonna know. Um, usually Celebration, or in years past, Celebration, has gone through the end of March, but not this year. All right, so today we are gonna do level two product, Berry Blessings. Um, berry Blessings, and you know what? I was calling the paper Berry Blessings and I just realized a minute ago, it has a different name, Berry Delightful. The paper is called Berry Delightful. And they come together um, as a bundle. You can only get them as a bundle and you get them free with a $100 purchase. You can order anything you want, um, but you can choose this once you hit that $100 threshold. Okay, so we're gonna do three projects with this, and I've actually got some other projects I'm gonna post next week. Um, one is super cute. I guess I'll show you right now. I forgot about it. I totally forgot about it, and I was I need to make a video, so I will have this out next week. A little picnic basket. I did this for a team training um, in December, and I forgot all about it. So that's coming next week, and then I have a fancy fold card I did with my team as well. So I just set those here so I could remember. Um, to let you guys know that those are coming and I will hopefully get that video filmed on Monday. My kids are off school Monday, so maybe Tuesday. <laughs> maybe. Anyhow, um, before we get started on all of that, let me run through all the announcements. Um, first off, let me tell you, you know what, I'm going to flip you guys around. It'll be easier for me to flip you around and to show you. Let's see, and I'm going to show you. I love that one. club create projects or sneak peeks or whatever you want to call it um my club create is my club my stamp club my it's not really card because it's not always all cards so we'll call it we call it club create it's a subscription program it's 39 dollars a month and every month you get um a kit in the mail that has five projects in it and around $20 of product in it. Um, and you have to subscribe by February 7th. So th this subscription per period opened January 8th, which was earlier this week, and goes all the way till February 7th. So next month, February will be the sweet strawberry. Love it, we're using the punch today. And look, it be coordinates beautifully with this paper. You'll get a little bit of that paper too in your kit in February. Um, four cards and a little treat box, of course. Um, if you're looking for information on that, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. You can go over there and read about it. You can also scroll down and see all the past Club Create project um, that we have done and all the PDFs that are available. Club Create also comes with a video. This month's video is 34 minutes long. I filmed it yesterday. And uh, it has a video and a PDF. And I can see my camera shaking. Let me turn that fan off. It got a little warm in here earlier. Sorry about that. So Club Create, if you're interested. Um, there's also a link on the, today's PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. I will update the video when I'm done with the direct link. But there's a link right there if you can't find it. And um, the PDF is available now. If you're not interested in Club Create, but you are interested in the tutorials, there's a link there for just the PDF only option, which includes the link to the video, okay? The other thing about Club Create is that when you stay in Club Create for six months, you then get $25 in product of your choice. Like, kind of like host rewards, if you remember, um, 
post rewards. Pretty much the same thing. Um, but after six months, you get $25 as a thank you for me. Okay, so that's that. My class to go this month, of course, is the Valentine class. Lots of heart. Uh, the deadline for that is coming up January 18th. I'm actually going to start working on this tomorrow. Um, I, I, you know, it's, it's hard. I have to work so far ahead in order to get you guys your classes in time for the holiday. And this one, um, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I want to get it out. I said by January 25th, but my goal is to have it out a little bit earlier. Um, but the cutoff is January 18th. If you want to get this class to go, it is six Valentine treat projects that feature the Lots of Heart bundle, stamps and die. It comes with a bolt of ribbon and a pack of resin hearts as well. You get the PDF and six make and takes. You can get it with the bundle or without the bundle. And of course, PDF only option. And then there's the team discount for my downline. Okay, so if you want that link, email me and just ask me for the registration link. I can't post registration links on Facebook or on my blog. I can only send them through email. So they go out in all my emails that I send, my, you know, like my newsletter emails. Um, and what else was I going to say about that? I don't know. So if you want the link, either look in your past email or email me or sign up for my email list. So that way you'll always have them. Okay. Alrighty, so there's that. Oh, you know what? I didn't pull this out. Paper pumpkin. Um, I do have a couple of these kits left. If anybody wants one of these, the berry comforting kit. This is the December kit. Um, it's so cute. I have, I think I have two left. So if you are interested in that, they're $25 shipped to you. And they have everything that you need. Stamps and um what am I trying to say? Ink spot. The subscription period for this month's Paper Pumpkin has already closed, but I purchased a bunch of them. So if you want one, you forgot to subscribe or whatever, let me know. They're $25 shipped. I haven't gotten mine yet, um, but they're going to be Valentine cards. And then you can add on the little, the little mini boxes, little love boxes. I haven't gotten them yet. I actually ordered them yesterday. They're so cute. So um, I saw a picture yesterday where somebody had a paper pumpkin box and then the mini paper pumpkin boxes that we sell in the catalog and then this guy and it's like a teeny tiny little paper pumpkin box. It was so cute. So if you're interested in that, if you didn't subscribe, let me know and I will put you on my list. I expect to get them hopefully sometime next week. Fingers crossed. Who knows? You guys, funny, funny story. And I don't know if she's watching, but <laughs> one of my customers who ordered my Christmas retreat back in November, it shipped November 18th. She got it this week. You guys, it took almost two months to get to her. Can you believe that? You know, we all heard about the horror stories about what was going on with the postal system and the shipping. And I just laughed I because I thought of that poor little box sitting all lonely somewhere, <laughs> missing the holidays in the cold, you know, postal service warehouse somewhere. But isn't that crazy? Two months. I had actually had a replacement sent to her already, so she sent it back to me. But whoa, so crazy two months. We had given up. We thought it had been destroyed or something. Who knows? Okay, moving on. I think shipping's gotten a little bit better. Not totally better. I had a FedEx thing completely disappear, never got delivered to me. Said it was delivered and it wasn't. And that was just last week. So who knows? I guess it's always going to be kind of like, eh. but during the holidays, it was awful. All right. So next thing, the all-Star Tutorial Bundle. The subscription for this is still open. This is a PDF only subscription. Um, if you have not heard of the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, um, I am a part of this amazing group. Uh, have been from the very beginning. We've been doing it for maybe close to four years now. And it's, a, it's 12 demonstrators from around the world. And we all pick each month we pick a bundle or a suite from the catalog and we each make a tutorial with it. And the tutorials now are videos. So in the, in the PDF are all the measurements and products listed that you need. And then there's a link to the video um, so that you can watch the video, which seems like, I don't know, just seems like everybody's really enjoying that. So you can get this for free if you spend $50 with me online. Oh my gosh, and I totally forgot to print out 
That just made me think. Okay, I'm going to remember after this. Um, if you spend $50 with me online, like a Stampin' Up! order, I will email you this for free. I do about once a week. I'm probably due to do it today. I think I did it last Friday. Um, I go through all my orders. Everybody who spent over $50 gets that in the email. And the other option is that it's they're always available in my PDF store. I have a PDF store. I think we're getting close to 200 PDFs in there now. Um, they're always available. All of the all-star tutorial PDFs are in there from years past. Although I think I'm going to start deleting some of them because they seem kind of irrelevant, some of them from a long time ago. But anyway, it's available there. Or if you know you want it every month, you can subscribe and you get the sixth month for free. So you'll pay for five months and then that sixth month is free. I email them to my subscribers on the first of every month like clockwork. Um, I don't miss um, that and make sure to do it. So if you are a subscriber and you don't get it, do not hesitate to email me. Email <laughs> is like joining the postal service. I don't know. Email is being completely unreliable these days. Um, so please, if you ever think I'm ignoring you or I didn't respond or you didn't get something from me you were expecting, just reach out and let me know. Uh, to, you know what's been happening now to me, you guys? I have a MacBook. So then on Mac, you set up your email. You have like a little email icon. You open it up. And so my pink bugger email is pushed to that and I read it in there. Well, now I'm not getting those emails. None of it's being pushed over. Does anybody know how to fix that? I can go over to the website and check my email, but it's not as easy. And it's weird. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to fix it. I even deleted it and reinstalled it and it's still not pushing those over. So if anybody knows how to fix that, I would love to hear. I even Googled it and couldn't find it. Anyways, here's that. There's that. This is this month's project. It's a big old gift bag. Super cute. Every project this month features the fine art floral floral suite of products. Gorgeous, gorgeous projects. The thing I forgot to tell you. Oh my gosh. And I was going to print out a big thing. Some of you might have seen it on my blog yesterday. This right here. I am sneaking up to my million dollars in sales. And I'm either going to get there at the very end of this month or the beginning of next month, probably more like next month, I think. Um, but what I'm going to do to celebrate um, getting there is that I'm going to be giving away some mini cut and emboss machines. I did this back early in the fall and I was trying to get to my 900,000 and you guys were so awesome. So I'm going to do that again for every $50 you spend. I'm going to put your name in a box and when I, every time I hit a thousand dollars in sales, I will draw a winner for a mini cut and emboss machine. Um, what was I going to say about that? Why am I losing my train of thought? I didn't sleep well last night. You know how you have like foggy brain? Yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. So I excuse the fog. Anyhow, I will be giving one of those away. Also, okay, that's what I was going to say. If you, you have to spend $50 to enter. And if you spend $50, this is on my store, okay? Not this PDFs don't count. All that doesn't count. It's st sales on stampinup.com because that's going to help me get to my million. Um, every time you spend $50, you'll get your, in, your name entered for that. You'll also qualify for today's make and takes. You'll qualify for that PDF I showed you. And how about a free embellishment? I'll throw that in too. All right, so that, I'm going to do that until we hit the million, okay? And I think probably two, maybe three weeks. Fingers crossed. We'll see. All right, so that's that. If you want to know the details, it's right there. There's a host code. It's the same host code as Facebook Friday host code. Um, every time you spend $50, you will get your name entered. And then I will draw um, every time we hit 1,000 or every few days for a, for a mini cut and emboss, Okay. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. Let me just remind you about the starter kit. So today, the bundle that we're using is free with a $100 order. If your, if your order gets to $100, I want you to stop first and think about the starter kit. If the starter kit special is a better deal for you, um, when you buy the starter kit, you actually pay $99, no shipping, and you get $125 of product of your choice for free. Anything you want. Plus, during celebration, you get these five amazing packs of, of designer series paper. The thing you don't get in a starter kit are celebration items. That's always how it's been. If 
you're already getting $25 in free product plus all of this in free product, which I think is like $60, $70, something like that. But you don't get to pick from the celebration catalog. But what you do get to do after you buy the starter kit is then you get a demo ID number and you get to put in your orders at a 20% discount and then get your celebration items. Demonstrators get celebration items just like customers. So if you're interested in that starter kit, I just wanted to make you aware because a level two celebration item is the same cost as a starter kit. So you gotta decide which one is, is the better deal for you. If you're interested in that on today's PDF, it's right here. You can click that link. You can also click the link at the top of my blog that says join. And you can always email me. Hopefully I'll get it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see it. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, all right? Okay, so there's that. The PDF, you guys, is at pinkbygrew.com. It's under the third photo. Today's three projects is under the, I have all three of them there, and then the third one, there's a link. You'll find this PDF. It has everything that you need to make our projects, all the measurements, the um, products that I use, that host code, and then everything I just told you about is on that second page. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I this is kind of like a card class. It's free with a purchase. So if you put in an order, $35 minimum, by Monday at midnight, you're gonna get today's make and takes mailed to you for free um, next week. And here's last week's. Um, I mail them to you. You will need the Berry Blessings stamp set, ink, um, I think that's it this week. All you'll need is the Berry Blessing stamp set, ink and adhesive. I don't do any stamping for you. That's against the rules, but I will do die cutting, scoring, punching, those kinds of things for you. This is what they look like when they come. You get all the pieces and everything you need to make all three projects, but the cutoff is Monday at midnight for that. Okay. All right. Last thing to do is prizes. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see all of you. I, I seriously have been dragging today, like, oh, I don't have the energy to do this. But as soon as I get on here with you guys, you inspire me. You make me feel, you know, excited to do all of this. All right. If you're getting an echo or the things are, are frozen, blurry, I don't know, refresh, refresh. It'll, if it's, if it's something with the internet, the recording when I am done, it uploads completely clean. Okay, if you're having problems. So how about our winners from last week? These, I always pick two winners from those who share the video on Facebook. And Sandy Perry and Donna Bradford, you both have won the Handmade For You stamp set. I have both of your mailing addresses, so no need to message me. And I believe Sandy, I saw you right off the top. Congratulations, you guys. I will put these over here by my computer and I'll print those out today. Now look, you guys, hot dog. Isn't it cute? This is going to be next week's prize. So if you would like to win one of these, just share on Facebook and you can type in the comments shared. That way I know that you shared. I'm reading you guys having, still having blurry. Um, Denise, you said a refresh helped. Okay, good. I only have one kid at home today sucking the internet. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, ugh. well, I won't even go into that. Um, my kids may be home more in the next couple of weeks than, because my kids are at school. My oldest goes every other day, but my younger two are at school every day. But the district has asked if people would maybe stay home for a couple of weeks to slow the spread, you know, yada, yada, all that. Um, but it's not mandatory. So I, I'm kind of giving them a choice to see what they want to do. And they're going back and forth, actually. My youngest texted me today and said, Mom, I want to go to school. And I was like, Okay, I uh, you know, good for you. So we're gonna, we'll see, we'll see though. She doesn't like getting up early, so she'll probably change her mind. <laughs> if they stay home and do school at home, they get to sleep much later because school starts at 8.45 and they can, you know, sleep till at least eight o'clock. Okay, it's time to stamp. Let me move everything out of the way. I'm not using the big machine today. I almost called it the big shot again, the big machine, the big guy. Um, good. Eileen, refresh helped you. Good. Hey, Eileen, I've been meaning to email you about the Valentine class. If I forget, I will remember because we're talking about it. Eileen earned a free class from me um, because she's on my team and she promoted. And I just am not going to forget, Eileen. <laughs> I'm not going to forget. Um, anyway, I have a special code for you to register. So if I forget, message me next week. 
All right, so let's talk about Berry Blessings. Again, this is a level two um, in the Celebration Catalog. I finally got all of my catalogs. Um, and you know what's funny? <laughs> I, don't, um, I shouldn't even tell you guys this, but we're all friends here, right? I was out of catalogs and I ordered them and waited and waited and waited. It took forever for them to get here. They got here yesterday. I started putting them away and guess what I found? Catalogs. <laughs> Oh gosh, COVID brain, even though I haven't had COVID, it's a real thing. I'm blaming it on COVID, I, right? It has to be that, it has to be that. Anyways, my point being, if you need this catalog or this catalog right here, please let me know because now I have them and I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have more than I need. So I would be happy to send it to you. If you don't have a demonstrator, um, let me know and I will get them in the mail to you. Actually have them in the, um, some of them in envelopes already. All right. So, so anyway, it's celebration, right? January and February. When does, when does celebration end everyone? February 28th. It's like I'm teaching class. I'm going to say it every time. Ends February 28th, not in March. So you have Less than two months now to take advantage of this catalog. Everything in here is free. Next week will be Darling Donkeys. I know you guys love Darling Donkey, so we're, that's going to be next week's Facebook Friday. And then we're moving on to Valentine's Day. Um, the Oso Ombre paper is on back order right now. Sad. Remember I talked about that last week, how that's like apparently everybody's favorite, and I was surprised by that. There's four different designer series papers in here, and the one that we're using today is the Berry Blessings. Actually, it's called Berry Delightful. I keep calling it Berry Blessings DSP, but it's the stamp set that's Berry Blessings and the paper that's Berry Delightful. And it is gorgeous. It's adorable, it's perfect, I love it. And if you've seen the Sweet Strawberry stamp set in the, the other catalog, you'll know that this goes beautifully with it. In my class, like I just showed you at the top of the video, my Sweet Strawberry Club Create Projects next month, use that Sweet Strawberry bundle with this paper. Um, I love all of it. And we're gonna use this later today. And I, in my mind, was saying that these are raspberries, but I think they're blackberries. What do you guys think? <laughs> The project we're making today uses this and a raspberry treat. So we're going to just go with it being a raspberry, okay? Because I blackberry, I don't know if you can find blackberry treats. That's kind of hard. Um, the reason I discovered that is because yesterday as I was looking at the paper, showing it in a video, um, I realized that there's another paper in here. Where is it? Did I already go past it? Yeah, that one. I think those are raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I should have used those. Oh well. Anyhow, this is this is the rest of the paper. I love this. I want to wallpaper my house in this. It's so cute. And then this. It's watercolor images and um, it lends itself beautifully for treat making. So that's what we're doing today. Three different treats. I scoured the stores for all of you to find the best treats <laughs> for you. And I haven't eaten any of them. I promise I have it. Okay, let's get started. We're going to make the first one, and I kind of teased you guys earlier about this one. Uh, this is that cute, I guess it's a gingham paper, and inside, are you ready? Nature's Bakery Fig Bars Blueberry. Have y'all seen these? I have not eaten them. I got them at Target, but I've seen them everywhere. Have you guys tried these? They come in lots of flavors. Um, and they were just really the perfect color, so that's what I got. And I was thinking, you know, everybody's trying to be healthy in January, so these are a better treat than candy, right? Let's see, how many calories? We probably shouldn't look. Well, 200 calories is quite a lot, and only three grams of protein. Well, you know what? It's better than four peanut butter cups, right? <laughs> I don't know. Those probably have more protein. Anyhow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it go into this cute little box. All right. Um, I linked over my blog today, the treats on Amazon. I found all three of today's treats at Target, um, but I just linked them on Amazon to keep it easy for you guys. And uh, if you are not shopping these days and you want to just order them from Amazon, they are there. All right. So if you, where is my simply scored? Right here where I put it. Um, remember, if you are gonna make this, 
on that PDF over my blog are all the measurements. So don't feel like you have to quickly write it down. Um, Yvonne, you've seen them at Costco, the variety pack box. You know, I didn't even look to see what other flavors. I bet they come in like strawberry and raspberry. So you could use your other stamps. Um, okay, so we're doing Pacific Point measurements right here. This is a seven and a half by six and a fourth. You know, did I, okay, I did trim it yesterday. I. I recorded all of these as clean recordings and my paper was totally off yesterday. So I think I fixed it. I hope I fixed it. <laughs> Let me look at my notes. Did I fix it? Yeah, six and a fourth. Okay, I think I had it an inch too long. Yes, I had seven and a fourth. So seven and a half by six and a fourth. All right, the long side. Hey, Lori, glad you made it. The, um, I hope you're feeling okay. I didn't know that was today. I'm glad you are good. I'm glad you're good to go. All right, long side is at one inch, three and a half, four and a half, and seven. And then you're gonna turn it on the shorter side and score it at one. And, oh, I need to change that, that's wrong. Five and a fourth. I didn't change the score line on the PDF. Five and a fourth. Don't print it yet. <laughs> I gotta fix my typo. You'll figure it out because it says score at six and a fourth, but the paper is six and a fourth inches wide. Just an inch on each side. All right, so now take your bone folder, score it nicely. How many of you out there already have the Berry Blessings bundle? Um, I know for me it was, well, maybe the donkeys was my first celebration choice, but this was definitely my second celebration choice. All right, so we have a one inch column and a one inch column, and then this one's a half an inch. This is the one we're going to put adhesive on and tuck into the inside. So down here, we're just gonna cut off those rectangles. Now, somebody mentioned chocolate covered blueberries. Um, I don't think I've ever seen those. Have I? You know what, now that I say that, maybe I have. Cut the corners off of this tab. Maybe I have. Ooh, ooh, you know those little nut, mixed nut kind of things that come in that, oh, what's it called? You can get them at TJ Maxx. I bet those are chocolate covered blueberries. I think I've actually bought those before, but I've never eaten them. Those would make a great treat. Would those be healthy? Healthier than something else maybe. All right, snip those lines. On the one inch tabs, the one inch column square, you're going to cut those corners off, okay? Now I'll do the exact same thing over here. And snip, snip. I didn't cut that one straight, let me fix that. And snip, and snip. Okay, so now that's what your paper should look like. Remember, clean recording, you guys, if you come back to make this go over and watch it, it's um probably quicker and less of the chit chat. It'll be on YouTube. It's linked on today's blog post as well. Okay, so on the outside part, you're gonna put your adhesive. I'm, I'm using that Seal Plus right there on that half inch tab. And then you can just fold that side over and it fits beautifully. Now that edge is your back side, back side of your box because you want all of the front edges to be rounded. So we're gonna fold in the front sides first. So I'm gonna do the little tabs, the side tabs, and then I will fold in the back side. And let me grab my bone folder. When you need to press adhesive in, if you get like your, your bone folder or ruler, you can press those in. And then we'll fold up this one. All right, and look, I've got a little bit hanging off. Let's trim that right there. All right, and we'll put this in and it fits perfectly. Now, you can adhere this, you can you know seal it, but if you do that, the person who gets it then has to tear it apart to get into it, and I, don't, just, I hate that. So, I'm just gonna tie the ribbon like this, and that'll hold it closed. So then the recipient can just take the ribbon off and it'll open. And then they can, oh, I'm still using too much ribbon. Then they can reuse it, regift it, 
or display it. I know some people when they get handmade treats, they put them out on their, you know, on their desk or on a on a shelf. So I just like so that they don't have to tear it up. Some people just throw it away because they're rude. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you guys that story about one of my downline who worked in an office and she made all, treats for everybody in the office. She was like an office manager. And she, that evening, she went around to empty everybody's trash and they had all taken the candy out and thrown all her beautiful work away and she was devastated. <laughs> People don't appreciate it, right? They don't know. They don't know how much work goes into it. All right, now look at this paper. It's beautiful on both sides. That's really pretty, but I... You know I'm gonna go with the plaid every single time because I am mad about plaid, if you will. Love it, I don't know if it, I don't know. Does it ever go out of style? It's just so beautiful. Okay, so now let me get some grid paper. Me too, Andy, I love it. All right, this is a label cut with the um what's it called the Ro wild rose dyes it's in the annual catalog basic white and i'm going to stamp with and i realized this is granny apple green you know what i'm going to not use old olive i like granny apple let me grab my granny apple old olive will work but i just really like how bright that granny apple so we're going to stamp the outline image first and see these little things right here that's where your blueberries are going to go so you want them to kind of be towards the top and the bottom so that when you put on your sentiment they won't be covered up and then you can get the fill in stamp the stamp that colors it stamp that oops i was off that was bad if you have trouble lining it up, you guys, you need a Stamparatus. Stamparatus will do it every time. I'm gonna try this again. Pay attention to what I'm doing. They're gonna be a little bit darker, but that's okay. I still did it right there, I don't know why. Hmm. And then I did that, but that's gonna be covered up. Oh well. All right, now Pacific Point. We'll do the outline of the blueberries and you'll see they'll sit right there on those little buds. Okay, and then you get the fill in, fill those in, and one more right there. All right, I close up my ink. Grab my dimensionals. And we're gonna put this right on here. Oh, that's bothering me, but I'm gonna cover it up, don't worry. You know, what do they say about mistakes? Just an opportunity to embellish. Wow, I'm seeing something really weird on my screen. Weird, it's just playing like over and over and over again. Weird. Okay, there, now it stopped. That was weird. I could see my replay on the iPad and it was like in a loop over and over and over again. Who knows what's going on with the internet today? I hate internet problems because I don't know how to fix them. Ugh, that and email problems. All right, I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, bountiful blessings. I'm gonna stamp it in white craft. This is our uninked craft, no, yes, uninked craft pad with white ink refill. So it's basically the craft white ink. I don't know why they sell it that way. I need to ask one of these days. White embossing powder. And we'll grab the heat tool. Is it doing that to you, Joy? Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's doing it over and over again. I see it again. Ha. Huh. Weird. Super duper weird. Looping, Jody. That's exactly what it was doing. Ha. Huh. Weird, I've never seen that before. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. If you can't watch now, come back and watch the, the recording because it will, um, it'll upload clean because it saves a recording to your phone. 
and then you know it fills in all I guess all the glitchy parts all right I'm going to cut this I'm going to trim it down just a little bit boy it's distracting me because it keeps doing it on my end And then we're gonna use the Taylor Tag Punch. And the reason I'm using the Taylor Tag Punch here is because I can have a little more control to see where I, I punch this. And I can see how far in I need to go. I think I need to go in just a little bit more. I want this about the width of the box, maybe just a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe a little bit more over here. See, I'm gonna go shorter and shorter and shorter and then it's gonna be too short. There we go, perfect. Actually perfect alrighty dimensionals and then that's it this is an easy project if you need to make treats for the office or for the school or church da -da, done that paper just really you know <laughs> to me that paper just takes it over the top and you don't have to do much more what do you guys think cute right very cute all right I'm gonna close mine let's see if I close it and then open it again and see if it does that. It's doing it there in Canada too. Uh, no problem in France, Sarah. Whoa, good, that's good to know. Okay, so project number two is done. Hi, Charlie. You guys, Charlie escaped this week. Um, took little Pepper with him. Charlie is my 11, one of my, I have three schnauzers and he's one of my older schnauzers. And we have um, our back gate opens, well, our, our back fence is wrought iron, so you can see through it, and there's a green belt behind us, kind of like woods, you know, and uh, we have a gate, and um, we don't really go out that gate too much. Sometimes my husband will open it to blow out the leaves, or my daughter, when she's taking care of rabbit stuff, she goes back there, but uh, usually it doesn't open. Well, this week... Somehow, just all of a sudden, Charlie was gone, and Pepper was too, and it was dark, and I was freaking out, <laughs> and uh, Pepper came home pretty, well, pretty quickly, running up the street. We don't know. She was all scared and crying, and then Charlie was gone for a while, and then when he came back, his collar was gone, and he came back through the back gate, so I don't know. We think maybe he got hung up on the brush back there. It was quite scary. So now he's walking around with no collar. Such a bad boy. Taking the baby with him. Okay, moving on. Project number two, I turned into a Valentine treat. We're using the Russell Stover Strawberry Cream Hearts from Target. I've also seen them at CVS. These are everywhere. Um, and I think they have all different flavors. So even if you wanted to do not strawberry, you could do the same thing, just use different you know, stamps or whatever. Um, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it just kind of slides in and out. And I uh, made it so you can kind of see what you're getting. And we're gonna use that adorable um, Strawberry Builder Punch. All right, let's get started. This one uses four punches. There's that punch. And then the two heart punches. What are these called? Did I even, did I even type it? I remember typing heart, oh yeah, heart punch pack. They come together, two together, because they, they're they nesting. They stay, you know, one stacks in the other. And then we're using a circle punch. All right, so we're gonna start with Poppy Parade. And I'm, see if I start reading y'all's comments, my brain isn't firing quick enough today for me to do both. I just wanna take a nap. The dogs were out last night. Of, you know, out of their kennel. And so I could hear them going in and out, in and out, in and out of the doggy door. And it just kept me up all night. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get up and just put them up. But, you know, when you're asleep, you do stupid stuff. All right. Poppy Parade, seven and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. Remember, it's on today's PDF under the last photo. We're going to score the short side at one. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. I just jumped the track. Okay, let's try that again. One and three and three fourths. And then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score the long side at four and a fourth and five and a fourth. It's really
really windy here today. I wonder if that plays any kind of role in the inter in the internet. Not you know, I don't know. Is that that play? It's all underground though, isn't it? It's not like phone telephone wires or something. Gosh, this this cardstock is really stiff. This Poppy Parade cardstock. I noticed that yesterday. Stiffer than the other cardstock. I don't know why. All right, burnish those lines. Before we put it together, we're actually gonna put the paper, the designer series paper on it, but let's cut it. Did I leave my scissors on that tray? Here they are. All right, again, kind of like we did in the last box, cut these two lines along the long side and then cut the corners off. I cut the corners off just so that, I don't know about you guys, but when I score, things are always just like a hair off. They always are. When I cut, everything's just not perfect. So if you cut off that, those, when you fold everything in, um, you're kind of removing some of those edges of the cardstock. I just found that it goes together a little bit better. You can do it without cutting off those corners, but I find that everything just fits together nicely if you remove some of those corners. Okay, so now you can see we have a big side and a small side. The big side is the back of the box back here, and this is the front of the box. So we're gonna get the two inch circle punch, and I'm gonna just kind of center it between these two lines right here, slide it down about halfway, and punch. Then I'm gonna get that cute, cute, cute paper. You know, mine's not looping anymore, you guys. I closed it and I came back in, and it seems to have fixed that problem for now. I say that and it's gonna start looping. All right, so we're gonna adhere this paper right here. And the reason I'm doing it right now is so that I can, oh, come on, I'm using that seal plus too. It's gonna be hard to get off. The reason I'm doing it now is so that I can take my circle punch and match that circle. Um, when I first made it, I didn't do that and I couldn't get the punch. You know, once it's made, I couldn't get the punch down in there to do it. So make sure you do that part before you put it together. All right, and then this paper. So I hate when two of my favorite patterns are on the same piece. <laughs> Which do I use? I love them both, but since we use that in the front, we'll use this cute little strawberry pattern in the back. Go right there. Oh, thanks Kimberly, I appreciate it. I'm glad, uh, you know, you just gotta laugh some days. All right, adhesive on the outside of the, the little square tabs, and then I fold up that, and I fold up that. Okay, so we've got it like that. And then I'm gonna put adhesive on the inside of these tabs, and fold it in and over. It's kind of like a little magazine box, you know? because in a minute you'll see why. We're gonna cut off diagonally here and here. So I'm gonna start at this corner and go to the back. Don't worry about it being perfect. Nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna see that it's not absolutely perfect. And just right here to there. So see how I did that? I cut off those. So it's like a little magazine, like a little magazine box. <laughs> All right, and then it fits perfectly right in there, okay? All right. Now let's make our little tag to the front. I have got those two basic white hearts. One is a scalloped heart, one is a puffy heart. I'm gonna just nest them right there perfectly. And I'm gonna put that dimensional right there for our strawberry. Now this is part of that paper too, and it's strawberry printed, right? It's a strawberry print. It's got the little seeds. So I'm gonna punch that. And then I'm gonna brush all this away because that's a lot of trash. And then we're just gonna do the stem. And I'm gonna put that on with a glue dot. Did it work for you too, Joy? Okay, so if you guys, if it's looping for you and it's being glitchy and weird, completely close out of it and come back. That helped me too. Odd, I, that's something I've never seen. I've seen it fuzzy, I've seen it frozen. I've never seen it loop like that. All right, and then we're gonna just put our little strawberry right there in the middle. So cute. And then more dimensionals. And we're gonna put on the front of our box. 
right there. Now, I really struggled on where to put the, the sentiment because I didn't want to cover all this up. So I decided to make just a little tag to put there. So I'm bringing in the word Valentine's, wishing you the very best Valentine. See what I did there? I'm using this stamp from the Berry Blessings stamp set, and I'm bringing in the word Valentine's from the stamp set called A Wish for Everything. So this is um, the Tasteful Labels dies, and I'm gonna stamp and poppy parade at the top, leaving room here for, you know what, that's a little bit too high. Let's do that again, because I realized yesterday that makes it hard to use the clip. So towards the top, but not all the way at the top. Now, this is a stamp set that has the word Valentine's. This is a great stamp set. There's actually two cases, has two cases. Um, and look, Halloween, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, it has everything you could need. So I use this quite a lot. Um, we're gonna use Valentine's right there. And we're gonna emboss again, because I just, lately I have been loving white embossing on colored cardstock. Lately, I'm just loving it. And you know, my my little craft white ink pad looks kind of dry. That looks a little bit better, we'll see. Seems like I can never quite get it juicy enough. Or maybe it just evaporates fast. Maybe that's why they send it the way they do. All right, well, we'll see which one looks the best. All right, heat tool again. I'm trying to read y'all's comments about the collar. We have to take our dog's collar off while he's inside because my daughter's dog takes it off of him. That's funny. You know, Charlie, um, he scratches a hole into his collar every time. Lately, I've ordered really cute collars from Etsy with their, you know, on the buckle, it has their name and the phone number. And he keeps scratching a hole in it in the same spot. So this time I ordered him a leather collar, hopefully. He won't scratch a hole in that. That's funny though. My dogs do use each other's collars to <laughs> grab onto. That's cute. All right, so I'm gonna cut this down again to just about the height of the word. You know, as narrow as the, the little word is. And then I'm going to, I usually cut these at the same like cut them both like that, but this time I did it kind of like that. And I like that. What is that, a trapezoid, a parallelogram? What is that? I don't know. I should remember that from teaching kindergarten and first grade. I don't know, I liked it. I didn't mean to do it the first time, but I was like, hey, I like those edges like that, kind of both pointing the same way. All right, wishing you the very best Valentine's. So clever. I love when I can pull stamps from um, another set to use, you know, use them, the words together to make something else. I always feel like, oh, look what I did. Now these are new little clips and they're called Clever Clasps. How cute is that? Clever Clasps. And they come in gold and silver. We're actually gonna use them on next, the next project as well. Um, they're like a, I don't know. They have like the little spiral on them, like a clothespin, but they're all metal and uh, they're pretty strong. All right, last but not least, you know we gotta add some ribbon. So this is the Flowers for Every Season ribbon pack, the white ribbon from that. And I'm just gonna tie a bow. You can never go wrong with a good white ribbon. Cut those off at an angle. And a glue dot and we'll put that right there and now you've got a good cute little valentine's treat and you got to use all your new goodies to make it ta-da what do you guys think i love it i don't know that may be my favorite project i love the blueberries but i like this too i like this box i like this box design oh i just stuck my hand in the ink okay let me clear off some space 
and we will do our third and final project. Got all kinds of a mess here. Okay, <laughs> my dog thinks I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you. They don't understand. You know, I always wonder, what do the dogs think when I'm standing here? Just talk, 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 talking when I'm making videos. What do they think? They think, she's lost her mind. Who's she talking to? All right, last but not least, we're gonna make this cute, tiny little box. And remember I told you I thought they were raspberries, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with it and say they are not blackberries, they're raspberries. I don't eat raspberries, but I'm pretty sure they're not purple. They're red. <laughs> but you know what? I found this, dark chocolate Ghirardelli raspberry squares. So what I was thinking when I made this, the reason I went with this is because I felt like it matched the foil better than the Poppy Parade, which would have been the other one, right? Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with it. This is a tiny little box that holds, and let me show you, take this one off. It actually holds three Ghirardelli squares. So, you know, Ghirardelli squares are around all year long. If anytime you need to make a treat box, just do this. Change the paper, change the colors, change the stamp. It's perfect for any and all situations. Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli feels fancy to me, a little fancier than maybe a Reese's. I don't know if it is, but for some reason it feels that way. And I bet whoever you give it to will think that as well. Have you had those, Carla? I haven't had them. I'm not, you know, I don't like fruit with my desserts. So any kind of cake that has a fruit or um, chocolate with fruit, I just, it's not my, it's not my preference. So I haven't, I haven't tasted them and I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to lose my COVID-10. <laughs> Officially COVID-10, it's gotta come off. All right, and that means no sugar. We're gonna start with Blackberry Blitz. No, I keep saying that, Rich Razzleberry, Rich Razzleberry. Let me show you guys in case you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! Colors. We have two very dark purples and they're very similar. Rich Razzleberry is this, and this is Blackberry Bliss. I mean, they're, they're very similar and they coordinate very well. We're gonna use both the ink pads. Okay, to make the box, you need four and a fourth by seven and a half Rich Razzleberry, we're gonna score the short side at one and three and a fourth, and then turn it and score the long side at two, three, five, and six. Now this box is gonna have that little lip that folds over. It's a little bit different than the other box. Get your bone folder, make those lines nice and crisp. Boy, we have enjoyed, you know, we have not enjoyed anything about COVID. But I will tell you, we have enjoyed having a calmer schedule with the kids. I know some of you out there probably are agreeing with me, but this weekend, tennis and basketball start. Ugh. I'm like, oh, man, I really was enjoying all that non-crazy sports scheduling. But it's good for the kids. I need to get back to playing all the time. My oldest daughter's been playing tennis all year, but the middle daughter starts officially, tennis season started this week for her. Um, now look, this box, we have a two inch section, two inch section, and then this one is one and a half. The one and, one and a half is the one that's gonna fold over. So over here on that one and a half section, one and a half inch section, go ahead and completely cut off those side tabs. All right, we've got that. I don't know what my deal is like that. I cannot cut things completely off. And then you know what to do. Cut the corners off of those square tabs, the tabs that go inside. Repeat on the other side. And, oh, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> I ripped it. Okay, so now get your adhesive and you're gonna put your Stamp and Seal Plus, Tombow, Tear and Tape, whatever strong adhesive you like. And you're going to, what did I do? No, mm -mm, I did it wrong. Remember how we cut these off? 
We gotta cut these off too. Cut them both off. Don't put adhesive on them like me. Cut them off. There, that's what it should look like. Except make your cuts nice and straight. What is, in, what is my deal? I keep leaving little, okay, there. Now, that's what it should look like. Adhesive there and there. I'm thinking about basketball and tennis is what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the back side. It's gonna fold over. So we're gonna start with the back side. Fold the back side up into those two square tabs. And then we're gonna put adhesive on the front. So a little similar to what we did on the previous project. And we're gonna fold that in there and that in there. And then this just folds right over like that. Okay, so that's just your basic construction. Now we've got that paper and of course the two coordinating pieces, they are on front and back. So decide, I want the raspberries, right? <laughs> I want the raspberries on the lid. I want it on the outside. So I'm gonna, for this part, this is the part that's gonna be covered up. I'm gonna put that right there. Kind of looks like fish scales, doesn't it? And then this one, I'm gonna put on, whoa, I'm gonna put on the front right here. All right. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Now these, to get them to, to fit in, fold in their little side flaps. You know, just kind of squeeze them in. It's a pretty snug fit, but they fit perfectly. There you go, see that? And then close that, and we've got this new ribbon, and this is actually Blackberry Bliss. And when I saw it in the catalog, I assumed that it was an, a stiff ribbon, because um, we had, um, a, I don't know, a few years ago, we had a white ribbon that was much whiter than this, and it looked like this, and it was very, stiff kind of like burlap um, but this is not this is very soft and it ties beautifully okay so there we go snip and snip and now we've got to make the tag so I need my grid paper for this now you guys today is three treats and I know some of you don't make treats and I always feel guilty when we do a lot of treats. So don't worry, next week is all, no, next week will be two cards in one treat. The following week will be all cards, okay? <laughs> don't worry, I haven't forgotten you, all my card makers. I haven't, but this one I just had to make treat packages. All right, we're gonna stamp that in Blackberry Bliss. Now, Blackberry Bliss is like red. It will get all over you and everything. So I don't even know what happened there. So close it immediately. And then we've got these, and we're gonna pretend like it's not Blackberry, <laughs> even though we're using Blackberry ink. Um, we're pretending it's a raspberry, a purple raspberry. Um, we're gonna stamp it this time in Rich Razzleberry, and we're gonna stamp off, okay? And I'm just gonna stamp it kind of overlapping. Stamp off. I'm gonna turn that one and do that that and then the fill-in stamp again stamp off you want it to be light and let's see where that goes right there and this one stamp off right there now let's close that up Laurie I love treats too me too I know some of us do but I know that there are a lot of you out there who hate making treats and that's totally fine i get it and so we've i've got cards coming don't don't you worry i've got your cards here's the mini cut and emboss machine you guys it's available it hasn't been available all year and finally it's available so if you haven't ordered it you can you can also get entered to win it with a 50 dollars purchase online your name will go in the drawing and your name will stay in the drawing. So if after I draw the first one, everybody who didn't win, your name stays in until we get to the end. Your name stays in all the way to the end. 
This is um, a layering circle die, and I believe it's about one and seven eighths. Just, just fits around those words. And we're gonna use one of those cute clever clasps again. Let's see, what did we use last time? Gold, okay, this time we'll use silver. Now, if you're gonna get these make and takes by putting in an order, you're gonna, I'm gonna send you the clasps. I ordered a bunch of them yesterday. So I will have them to send to you. So clip it onto the bow first and then slide your paper on there like that. And there you have it, cute and tiny. That's very cute. <laughs> I love this box. I've made this one other time and it was adorable. All right, that's it. Look, it's three o'clock. I did it. I stayed within the one hour time frame. Are you guys proud of me? All right, so let's review. We made the raspberry treat boxes. We made the strawberry treat boxes and we made the blueberry treat boxes. You can get all the information over at pinkbuckaroo.com. I will update the description on Facebook here with a link directly to my blog post. Give me about 15 minutes. Um, over there under the last photo will be the PDF where you can click, download it, save it, print it, do whatever you want. Give me five minutes to change that one um, wrong score line <laughs> and I will update it. Um, and then if you want me to send you the projects for free next week, um, your order has to be in Monday by midnight. Please use this host code. Unless you spend over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get some stamp and rewards. And I will still send you the projects for free. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Don't forget to choose your celebration item. What do I do with everything I make on my lives? Carol, that's a good question. I try to give a lot of it away, but a lot of it gets thrown away. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, when I was doing craft fairs, I would keep all of it and then just have like a, like a box of, you know, like bargain box of random projects that they could buy, but I haven't done a craft fair in a few years. I really try to give them away because what a waste, right? To, um, throw them away. Okay. Let me show you guys real quick about ordering your celebration, um, stuff, Stampin' Up! customer right here. Um, I want you guys to make sure that you don't forget to do your, is it gonna sign me in? Oh, it needs my touch ID. Um, don't forget to do your celebration items. There's a, it's weird this year. Do I have anything in my cart? Oh, I thought I did. It's weird this year, they, um, usually before you couldn't machines you couldn't submit your order without doing your celebration items for free but now it's it's letting you do that and then you could submit your order and be like oh my gosh I forgot to add in my celebration items so I want to just show you you get to your cart right you have whatever in your cart right here it says you have celebration rewards to redeem when I do this on my computer, there's a pop-up that comes up, but it doesn't stay there for very long. It's like five seconds. So click that, and then you can choose right here your stuff. Um, let me show you something else. Let's pretend we're buying, I don't know, three of those, just pretending. When you get over $150, you earn Stampin' Rewards. And so the way you redeem those, let's see, let's go to Bundled Savings. Um, stamp and die bundles. Um, let's say, I don't know how much we're going to have on $306. You have $36. No, a little bit more than that. And okay. So what are you going to get for your free money? You just go over and you look and then see, look right here. It says claim rewards. So once you hit that $150 mark, it's going to give you that. And you, you have to go to the item you want and you hit claim rewards. Okay, and then it'll be, there's your stamp and rewards. You had $43 in stamp and rewards, so then you pay the difference. Um, host code, well, I it's not on here. If you are not over $150, let's delete that so I can show you the host code. You wanna use a host code, right? Um, let's go down, let's say we haven't earned stamp and rewards. We're just spending 120. So we come down here, scroll down. It used to pop up and say, do you want to use a host code? It doesn't do that anymore. So come right here, click that plus sign, and that's where you type in that host code. 
okay? It's very easy to forget. And if you forget, you can email me and I can call them and have them at it. Okay? All right. I think that's it. Did I lose y'all on the video? I did. All right, let me come back over. If you're gone, you're gone. That's fine. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, too, Sue. Thank you. Um, thank you, Judy. You guys are always so sweet to me. I will see you next week with three more projects with the Darling Donkey um, at 2 o'clock Central Friday. And hopefully we won't have that weird looping weirdness, right? You guys, stay safe out there, and I will see you next week. Bye.